When human beings are responsible for things, when humans lay our human hands on them and use our human brains and implement our human ideas with our humanness, there is by definition the possibility for human error. You can say your safety assurances are superhuman, but unless your safety experts are from the planet Krypton, nothing you as a human, nothing you can do will ever overcome the possibility of human error. Accidents happen, mistakes happen, they happen all the time. And sometimes they happen all the time in the same place. When such a place is near an earthquake fault or two, and when such a place also plays host to nuclear fission on a regular basis, that's news. And here it is. By the year 1970, construction permits had been issued for a new nuclear power plant in California. When the utility Pacific Gas and Electric, PG&E, applied for the permits, the company said the site had only insignificant faults that have shown no movement for at least 100,000 and possibly millions of years. Construction costs for that assuredly totally non-seismic nuclear plant were estimated to be around $320 million. Uh, barely a year later, it's 1971, and uh-oh, a new fault line is discovered offshore, less than three miles from the plant's location. Humans decide that the site is still well-suited for releasing energy from atoms, as long as the money spent on construction goes from $320 million to more than $5 billion, slightly less than a 15-fold increase. Then by 1981, uh-oh again. Turns out that the seismic supports built to deal with that newly discovered offshore fault, we humans built them backwards. Literally, we looked at the blueprints the wrong way around. It's like a postmodern episode of Mr. Magoo, except nuclear apocalypse is the punchline. So all of the retrofitting, which was done backwards, had to be re-retrofitted. <laughs> That will be another $2.2 .2 billion, please. Flash forward to 2008, and uh-oh again, a new fault discovered less than a mile from the plant. PG&E and the Nuclear Regulatory Commission, they go ahead and decide that the new fault line, eh, no biggie, it'll be fine. But the State Energy Commission in California begs to differ. The State Energy Commission says that not enough is known about that new fault line, and the plant should do some 3D seismic mapping to see if things are safe. That was three years ago, and no, they still haven't done the seismic mapping. But they have been running this star-crossed, human-error-riddled nuclear reactor all along. And then Japan happened. And when Japan happened, California's Lieutenant Governor Gavin Newsom went on TV to draw attention to the safety shortcomings at this godforsaken California nuclear plant. And then the Union of Concerned Scientists dropped this non-atomic bombshell. Turns out after all the safety scares this plant has been through, after all the billions and billions of dollars of safety upgrades at this plant, turns out that the emergency cooling pumps that are supposed to kick in if anything goes wrong in the reactors or the spent fuel pools, those pumps were disabled for 18 months. They were non-operational before anybody noticed. The valves were stuck for a year and a half. Nothing approaching an earthquake or tsunami like Japan happened during those 18 months, but if it had, there would have been no backup cooling systems available at this California nuclear plant. After all of that, the geophysicist, who is also the California state senator whose district includes this plant, is now asking for its license to be suspended, at least until the updated seismic studies can be finished. That state senator is a Republican. And did I mention he's a geophysicist? I have long had a theory that people who came before us should be given the benefit of the doubt when they gave names to things that were clearly designed to warn us away from those things. The canyon where California's godforsaken nuclear power plant is located is called Diablo Canyon. That should have been a hint, maybe. It's the nuclear power plant from HE Double Hockey Sticks. Diablo Canyon, seriously? That does it for us tonight. We will see you again tomorrow night.